So in this video we're going to be learning how to do natural language processing. That will make our bot a lot smarter and it means we'll be able to talk to our bot like we would talk to a human and our bot will be able to understand us. To do that we're going to be using an API called wit.ai. It's created by Facebook and to get started you have to create an account. So just go down here and create your account and once you've created your account you want to click on this plus to create a new app and we're going to call this app better bot and we're just going to give it a description of my Facebook bot, something like that. So I'm just going to choose open and I'm going to click create app. We're going to send our text to wit.ai and their API is going to send us back a response that we can understand and we can incorporate into our bot. So the first thing we have to do is to train our bot. And what we're going to be adding in this video is the ability to ask our bot the heights of different buildings. So here I have three buildings. I have the Eiffel Tower, I have Trump Tower, and I have the Shard. We're going to record the height of each of those buildings. And then we're going to be able to ask our bot questions like, how tall is this building? What height is this building? And those are two different ways to ask the same question, but our bot's going to understand the difference. So I'm going to say, what height is the Shard? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in intent, just like this. And I'm going to say the intent is going to be height. So now if I click create option, now whenever the wit AI API returns, it's going to say that the intent of this question is to figure out the height of something. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the word shard and then I'm going to type in the word building. So now that whenever our bot sees the word shard, it's going to know we're talking about a building. Whenever it sees the word height, we know the intent is height. And we'll actually change height to get height, something like that. Now if we validate that, now what we're going to do is we're going to type in how tall is the shard. That's a different way to ask the same question. And now you can see that the bot knows that the shard is a building and the intent is get height. So what we're going to do is click validate on that. Now I'm going to say how tall is Trump Tower. So the intent is still get height. And what we're going to do is select Trump Tower and we're going to say it's a building. Now we're going to validate that. And we'll create another one. We're going to say how big is Trump Tower. And now you can see it says building is Trump Tower, intent is get height. Now you can see building is Eiffel Tower and intent is get height. We're going to also say how old is the Eiffel Tower. And we're going to change the intent from get height to get age. Now if we validate that, and the building is Trump Tower and the intent is going to be get age. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on settings and this shows us how we can call the wit API. So we can call it like this using the curl keyword or we can just copy this. Go to paw and then inside paw what we want to do is type in authorization and paste in this header. And then if we go back here what we can do on wit AI is just copy this address, paste it in there. And now if I run that we get an error. It says our message was too short. But if I type in how tall is Trump Tower and I run that you can see we got a response back. It says the building was Trump Tower and the intent was to get the height of the building. So that worked as expected. So now that we've done that, we know the response we're going to get from Wit AI. So if I open up our bot, I go to index and I open that up. And what I'm going to do is instead of sending back the message the user sent, what I'll do is I'll just delete that and I'll change that to message. And what I'll do is I'll just say message equals file get contents. And we'll just paste that in. And what we want to do is scroll down here and in file get contents, we have to modify the headers. So to do that, I'm just going to copy the options from above, paste them in here, and I'll rename that to message options. And once again, we'll supply false and our context, and we'll call this message context. And we will just say message context equals stream context create, and we'll pass message options. And what we want to do in message options is instead of changing the content type, we want to say authorization. We paste in our authorization code. We delete the content because we're not sending a post request. We'll delete the method because we're not modifying that either. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're just going to delete how big is Trump Tower. And then in here what we're going to say is raw URL encode. So if we paste in this function what it'll do is it'll convert our string to a string that can be passed as a URL. And in this function what we'll do is we'll say a post array message text. That should pass in the string that we send in the Facebook message. So if we save that and run this. Now if I go to the bot and I type in how tall is Trump Tower. You can see it responds with the JSON from Wit AI. It says how tall is Trump Tower and it says the value is Trump Tower and the intent is to get height. So what we're going to do really quickly is reply to those messages. So to do that we're going to go back to our bot and inside message is where this JSON will be stored. So what I'm going to do is say message JSON equals JSON decode message and I'm actually going to say message array because we're converting it from JSON into an array. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an if statement. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy this JSON and we're going to paste it into this website. 
and we're going to click run. The JSON will be converted to the output that PHP will give you whenever you run it through JSON decode. And you can see we access entities, then we access building, then we access the zeroth element of that. And then we access the value, which in this case is Eiffel Tower. So keeping that structure in mind, what we're going to do is move this over to the side. And we're going to say, if message array entities, then we access building. And then we access the zeroth element of that, as you can see here. And then we access the value, just like that. And then we say, if that equals Eiffel Tower, then we know we're talking about the Eiffel Tower. And then inside here, we'll create another if statement. And we're going to say, if message array entities intent zero just like buildings we go to intent we access the zeroth element of that and we access the value element in there and we say if that equals get age for example otherwise so inside here we know we're talking about the eiffel tower and inside here we know we're asking for the age of the eiffel tower so to send a message back all we do is we say message equals the eiffel tower is 128 years old in here we say message equals 1063 feet high so we save that. So now if we run our bot and we type in how tall is the Eiffel Tower, you can see it says the Eiffel Tower is 1,063 feet high. Now if I say something like how big is the Eiffel Tower, you can see it tells us the height again. If I say how old is it, you can see it tells us the age. So now we're using natural language processing to make our bot a lot smarter. We could make our bot as smart as we wanted to. And in later videos, we might make it even smarter. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. If you have any questions, don't forget to email me at francis at Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.